presents this program in color. dangerous and extreme situations. It is my pleasure to promote you, Gina Trias, to the rank of Blue Team Captain. Thank you, sir. You are to report to Control to begin your new duties. At once, Commander. Captain. Cadets. This isn't right. Why is she replacing Chris? I've heard she was very popular among the Redson cadets. Really? Let's just say they're having a bigger party than she is. <laughs> Gina's a good officer. She's a top academic mind. Analytical and logical abilities are far above average. She's just a little... specific. <laughs> How do you mean? We'll put it like this. In a roundabout way, she is 100% the reason I transferred into Blue Team. Oh boy. <laughs> that doesn't sound promising. It doesn't matter. We've been through tough times before, and we always come through it fine. Seriously, we're the Blue Team. Best of the best. As long as we stick together, we will always come out on top. <laughs> yeah, totally. So. Tigar, report to comms unit four. I better get that. I'll see you guys later. See ya. Bye. Adrian. I have been experiencing some power drain issues with the Loki unit. I was wondering if you could help. Of course. Let's go to the geology department and take a look. I uh, need to get to the botany lab. I'll, uh, I'll walk with you. Chris? Please come in. Chris? Laura? What? Nothing. I I just wanted to talk. We missed you at the ceremony. I thought maybe you'd come. There was no time. I've arranged a transfer into Gold Squad. There's less planet hopping, but more leadership opportunities. Off base. And it's a fast track into Star Command. I think I just need a chance to get away. Be around me less, you mean? Yeah. You've barely <laughs> said two words to me ever since I told... Ever since you told Gampu and Adrian that you're a telepath and I'm not? And you and Tigar have been hiding that secret from me for two years? And I've been running around saying, let's use our levitation. Despite the fact that... That we can't do it. But you knew that all along? Yeah. Since then. And I'm sorry. About that. Laura, you know what it's like to be lied to. You can read minds and thoughts and feelings. No one can lie to you. So you don't know. You don't know what it's like to trust someone and have them betray that. Yes, I do. How? Because I can sense how you feel, Chris. I am sorry. Look, I know you have to go. I have to get back on duty, too. Can we talk later? Chris? Take that as a maybe.
Space Academy was recorded live before a studio audience. Loki states, Gamma Larpidus! <laughs> you said it. Hold it steady, Bella. You're doing great for your first pilot training. It's so beautiful. So incredible. The universe is a wondrous place indeed. A white dwarf star like that one took millions and millions of years to form. What happens next? Patience, Tigar. Paul, can you give us an astronomical evaluation? Well, Commander, if this were any normal star, it would keep burning up energy until there was nothing left but a, a cold black cinder. Well, that's true of most stars. What's different about this one? Ah, this one's so massive. It's burned itself up too fast. It'll eventually go unstable and explode, and that'll cause a supernova. We will not want to be there, then. <laughs> Indeed, no. Which is why we've evacuated this sector of the galaxy. <clears throat> ah, we're in luck. That asteroid that we charted earlier contains a Zolium mine. Looks like we found all we need to recharge our life support units. Wrong. Too much Zolium will make our life support units unstable. Zolium is never found in that high of a concentration. I've done this game to myself, and I think... Yes, I've heard all about what a reliable officer you are, Ensign. I don't suppose you've ever read Dr. Stanley Crane's paper on Zolium distribution? No, I haven't. I would think someone in your field would want to keep up with new theories. Gina! That's Captain Trius, Ensign. And I happen to know more about Zolium than any cadet in the Academy. I'd love to bring you up to speed. Later. Right now. <coughs> Academy to Seeker, are you ready to head to the asteroid L9? We're done surveying the black hole control. We're making preparations to land at L9 now. We're on our way. Take a second. There's still time to call them back. For what reason? Do it, Ensign. Seeker, this is Control. Go ahead, Adrian. Belay the landing procedure. Stand by. Uh, standing by. Gina, what's wrong? We're not sure, Commander. Gina, I mean, Captain Trius has some concerns about the Zolian concentration on L9. Nonsense. I see no reason to delay. With the proximity of the supernova, the Zolium extraction timeline is critical. Laura? Proceed with the landing procedure. Oracle, Commander. They're landing. I wish I could run with them. Lucky you didn't. your hand to press this button if anything goes wrong, okay? <laughs> Something's wrong. Paul's <coughs> system is failing. Paul, are you alright? Academy to Seeker, <coughs> this is Captain Trius. Stay on board the Seeker. Repeat, stay on board the Seeker. Reroute power to life support systems. Paul's down. His respiratory levels are dropping. He needs assistance. This is what I was talking about, Commander. I was right, and now it's your fault that Paul is out there. We've got to get Paul inside, and fast. Negative. You are to remain on board the secret. That is an order. We have to do something. Peepo, can you bring Paul back inside? I can try. He is heavier and squishier than he looks. <laughs> he may prove to be a problem moving him. Squishier? It's a physiology thing. His body is not like yours. Do what you can, Peepo. I can't help him until you get him back here. Ready, willing, and able as usual. Mm. You were right. And I was wrong. Tell that to Paul, Commander. <laughs> <coughs> Something's wrong. People's energy levels are dropping too fast. Could this only be affecting him? It's doubtful. Gina, what's the source of that drain? Loki. <coughs> it's Loki. He's tripled in power and he's sucking it right out of Pipo. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can't. I, I... Seeker to I, control. Yeah. People is shutting down. Please advise. Stand by, Laura. We have to do something. 
You stay here. What are you going to do? I'm going to pick them up and carry them back inside. Do you have a better idea? Pipo weighs over 350 kilograms. Yeah, I know. Tigar? Yeah? How strong are you? I don't know. But I think we're about to find out. <laughs> source of that drain. Fork of Here comes Eat the Flavor Freak. He's always looking for great flavor, and some will try anything to get it. How do you make your son happy? Why? Life says it's life, says it's please don't wait. Life says you should never think you not feel great. Hey, Lifesavers. Sons just love the big juicy flavor of Lifesavers Road Candy. Hey, Lifesavers. Life says it's life, pop, lots of fun. News from the baby, two cases in one. Hey, Lifesavers. to remain in that bed. That's an order. Doctor's orders. Commander's orders. Tigar, I don't understand. Why isn't Paul recovering more quickly? It's his physiology, Commander. Paul doesn't process oxygen the same way you do. And so oxygen deprivation, even for short periods, can have devastating effects. And the concentrated zoleum? That's probably a factor as well. I've been in touch with the Space Hospital on CETA. That's the facility best equipped to handle his treatment. I've arranged his transfer. His transfer? Commander, Paul, well, he's in very bad shape, sir. And he won't get better here. His best chance is with the doctors on CETA. His best chance for recovery? For survival. I see. Could you leave us alone, please? I'm sorry that all this happened, Paul. It's, it's entirely my fault. No, it's not. There's an old saying on my planet. <laughs> you can't teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> I never thought that was true. Until now. I'm an old dog. And there's no time left for tricks. <laughs> it's not true, Commander. We're sending you home, Paul. You're gonna get the best of care there. I know. When you return, your spot will be waiting for you on blue team. Commander, can I ask a favor? Absolutely. Anything. Tell. 
say goodbye to Adrian for me. Wouldn't you rather say that yourself? No. I don't want her to see me. Not like this. I understand. I will tell her. After I leave. Of course. Take care, Lieutenant. Thank you, Commander. tools you should need. Don't lose the case. Huh? Gina, I've decided to go with you. <laughs> that won't be necessary. It will be safer if someone is with you. You mean that in case of an emergency, I can depend on you? <laughs> Thanks, Lieutenant, but I'd rather depend on myself. You can be sure that I won't make a mistake, not like our daughter and commander. I'll see you both when I return. And it's Captain Trius. I don't much like her. <laughs> She's the only person I've never seen you touch. <laughs> We're a touchy species. On my planet, everyone has a place. Everyone is in contact, so no one is ever alone. It's like a big network. Very much so. Take someone out of the network, and the whole system suffers. On a day-to-day -day basis, that's not a big deal, but... Tigar. Sensing something, Laura? Yes. I don't like this. Tigar, you can't leave. Not now. Paul's hurt. The commander's a mess. Gina is insufferable. Adrian <laughs> can't get people working again. Laura, I have to. My planet is entering the solstice ritual. I need it. <laughs> the network needs every piece. All of us, from all over the galaxy. We're being called home. What do you mean? Zendi Avis has a very different orbital path than Earth. The best way to describe it is that our winters are very long, dangerously long. And so we come together for warmth, but also for comfort and connection. And we sleep. You hibernate. Right. And I've been called home. Does anyone know? Zendians don't usually include their hibernation status on the Academy application form. There hasn't been a hive sleep in two generations. So no, no one knows. When do you go? Soon, a few days. Please don't tell anyone. I know you can keep secret. <coughs> okay, but how long are we talking? Will I see you again? We will, but you'll be older. So will I. It's not stasis, but yes, eventually. That's how you were able to resist the freeze chamber on the bag and ship. You've adapted to extreme cold and hibernation. That and my nearly superhuman strength. <laughs> <laughs> See you around? See you around. Oh, I almost forgot. I have something for you. An Arcturan diamond.
Adrian. Commander, I've been trying to reactivate Peepo, but it's no use. Any energy that I send into Peepo, Loki siphons out. And where is that energy going? It's just staying in Loki. It's building up. He keeps draining and storing. I don't want to cut the power supply off because then Peepo's secondary systems would be drained. His brain matrix. His memory, his personality. Everything Peepo is would be gone. But as long as I keep a strong energy flow going in, I can bypass that. Is there any danger to Loki? Sir, I don't know. Take a break, Ensign. Get some food and some rest. You need both. Oracle Commander. Hello, old friend. You look how I feel. But with a little rewiring, you'll be good as new. I've made a big decision. A hard one. A sad one. I'm, I'm 300 years old. I know the slowing of the aging process has made me a unique case, but I'm not the man I once was. It's going to be difficult saying goodbye. Start recording. To the esteemed members of the council, after deep consideration of recent events, it is with regret that I offer my resignation. I will remain until a suitable replacement arrives, which I trust will be soon. With dignity and respect, Isaac Gampu. Stop recording. Send. Dear old friend, you always were a great listener. Almost there, Commander. Good. She's entered orbit now. This is Academy Control. Come in, Gina. This is Academy Control. Do you read me, Gina? Captain Trius here. Go ahead, Control. <laughs> How's it going? You won't believe this. I've got the extractor up and running already. Full blast. At this rate, we're going to have all the zoleum we need in two hours. Be careful, Gina. Don't rush. You've got plenty of time. I do know what I'm doing, Commander. Of, of course. Control out. Commander, I'm reading a second ship entering orbit around Del 9. What? Confirmed, sir. It's on an intercept course with Gina Seeker. But who is it? Checking Star Command flight plans. No military or merchant ship should be in this quadrant. Due to the black hole in the quarantine, this is an off-limit sector. A civilian ship. Commander, the second ship is arming weapons and raising shields. Control the seeker. Control the seeker. Gina, prepare for evasive action. Activate the spin lasers. The spinners won't touch those shields. They may give her a chance to get away, though. Your pilot isn't in any danger yet. Whether or not she remains that way is entirely up to you. State your terms. Very well. I want the zolium that your shuttle has so cleverly extracted. As a highly controlled substance, 
It has a great deal of demand and value on the black market. Someone like me can make quite the killing. Pirates. Shall we alert Star Command? No, Laura. Wait. Attention. Our instruments are reading that there is a leak of the Zoyam containment unit on board the ship, and our pilot is unable to respond. She needs immediate assistance. Then we have a problem. I can extend a small force field to contain the hull breach, maintain orbit, but I can't vent out the Zolium gas. Seagar? The Zolium will keep Gina incapacitated. Her situation isn't as bad as Paul's, but she will need medical attention. This is your problem, Space Academy. I will allow you to send a rescue ship. You may retrieve your pilot and transfer the Zolium to me. Commander Isaac Gampu, you will come alone on the rescue ship. Me? <clears throat> I'll have to go. <laughs> Stop the leak, transfer the Zolium, and bring Gina home. But how? Our life support units will be useless. There is a way, and I can do it. My old spacesuit. It's an awkward unit, but this technology predates zolium based systems. So the zolium in the cockpit won't affect it. Precisely. I will, however, need an assistant. Laura, report to Seeker 4 immediately. Oracle Commander, you can do this. You've got something none of us have experience. <laughs> <laughs> You're so dumb. <laughs> We all have, and you are the best. <laughs> Thank you. Academy Control Computer advises we have 17 minute, 12 second, Commander. Thank you, Laura. We're coming up on Gina's ship now. And the bogey. Remain calm. Begin the docking procedure. Once we are secured, I will board the ship and bring Gina home. Oracle, Commander. Transmissions. All oh, your transmissions, Isaac. Who are you? How do you know me? I'm surprised you were able to find your way here, Isaac, at your age. What is the meaning of all this? To the esteemed members of the Council, after deep consideration of recent events, it is with regret that I must offer you my resignation as the commander of Space Academy. Accepted that as well. I'll say it got my attention. Chance to snow this much, Rosalium, and to see you again. I could I resist? Marsha! <laughs> <laughs> 
I find you as I last left you, flirting with disaster. <laughs> what have you gotten yourself into now? You've got your shoes on the wrong feet, mister. You're the one who caused all these problems, not me. You haven't changed one iota. Oh, yes, I have. You have no idea. Indeed. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. So is what I'd hoped. How so? Why did you leave me, Isaac? Do you remember what you said? My life, my career, was with the Space Academy, was with the students. You said you understood. I never said I understood. You're done there. Come with me. Have an adventure. Feel young again. Feel young again. Come with me. Come with me. They'll be fine. After all, you taught them. There's nothing left for you there. There's me. If you'll take it. What just happened? <laughs> <laughs> the commander is leaving with that woman. They've taken the Zolium. Oh, damn. No. Yeah. Will we be able to make it home? We can drag your seeker back. We're already docked, so no problem there. But it's a long way. And she's locked out our star speed. So, hours? Days. Maybe weeks. Get comfortable. What about the supernova? If we're lucky. <laughs> in person. It's okay. I imagine you're pretty busy in gold. No kidding. We just intercepted all these transmissions from Vega. Looks like some diplomatic stuff, but we're not really sure what to make of it. Have you contacted Rorg? Not yet. I didn't get along as well with him as Laura did. Chris, she's your sister. You're allowed to be upset, but you're allowed to forget it. At some point. Maybe. Listen, have a good trip. See you? Someday. Have fun in gold. Adrian. Peepo. No, Adrian. This is Loki. I'm speaking to you directly. Where's Peepo? Let me speak to him. Peepo is not here. I have overridden his controls. Peepo is not needed now. What do you mean? Adrian, you have called me an egg gem. Mm. So be it. Mm. I am hatching. What? 
I am emerging. I am emerging, Adrian. I am emerging. I am returning. Help me! Loki, wait. Returning? People, wake up! People is no more. People is not needed now, Adrian. I am returning. Laura, we're going I to am Shima returning. Immediately. Help me, Shima, Adrian. Commander Gimp. I am emerging. I am emerging. I am emerging, Adrian. I am Loki. Ah! <laughs> <laughs>